So after finishing Bruno Silva with a 1 2 eye poke combo, Chris Weidman went on Ariel Hawani's show and addressed the controversy in that fight. There's no controversy. He finished him with a 1 2 eye poke combo and had his fingers darting towards the eyes of Bruno Silva in nearly every exchange in that fight. He eye poked him twice and then he finished Bruno Silva with a 1 2 eye poke combo. But there arguably could have been more eye pokes that the referee didn't even notice. Then, after this interview that he had, which we're going to break down with Ariel, where he said some absolutely insane things that make no sense that we're going to break down. This might be a very long video. The MMA media swarmed to protect him. I mean, one by one. Chael did this as well, but I'm not going to feature him in the video because he yaps about nothing for like 10 minutes. And I can't, there's nothing to even get out of it. One by one, every corporate piece of MMA media just rallied to the defense of Chris Weidman. I'm talking the Believe You Me podcast as well. I'm talking Daniel Cormier as well had some insane things to say about Chris Weidman. And I've sat through all of their podcasts all of their podcasts, finding all of these moments, and we're going to break them down in today's video. Let's get straight into the interview that Chris Weidman had with, had with Ariel Hawane. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully, you can hear this. You can. Uh, maybe the most talked about fight going in and certainly going out. Let's not waste any time. Going Let's say hello in. to the All-American. Back in the winner's circle, Christopher J. Weidman. What's hello, Chris. Up? How are you? All, all happy. Forget Bruno Silva, who might be blind right now. Just maybe potentially losing his job as well because this is another loss for him on the, on the record after he got eye-poked over and over again. Back in the win column, Christopher J. Weidman. Why does he do that? Why does he, You don't know them more than us, dude. Christopher J. Weidman. Call him Chris Weidman. It's like when this guy calls Nate Diaz Nathan Diaz. Why you got to be special about it, man? Either way. I'm good. How are you, Ariel? Uh, these are some nice... Oh, my dear. Look at that. Oh, no. Poor Weidman. Literally, the majority of that damage is um, from Bruno Silva's punch as well. I'm going to move my camera in front of when he shows how bad his eye is here. Oh, God. Because it is really bad, and I hope you didn't even see that in the top, because I might get demonetized for it. Get the hell out of me, Ariel. Oh, yeah, he I, said the, the guy I poked the hell out of me, Ariel. I poked the hell out of me. Oh, God. Ridiculous. I got, I'm going to have to do an appeal. What? Ridiculous. I might have to do an appeal. So he's making jokes. Is this a heel turn from Weidman? Because it doesn't seem like it. This is the problem I have with these dumb, meathead, ridiculously stupid fighters. They don't even do heel turns. Really. They don't do heel turns. They, they're trying to be liked. Like, be a heel or don't. You know what I mean? But sometimes they just can't help themselves. I might have to file an appeal, Ariel. So he's making fun of Bruno Silva for being eye poked five times by him. Is this the start of evil villain Weidman's rise to the top of middleweight? I don't even know. The main thing I'm angry about, though, is the rest of the corporate MMA media rallying to defend him. We'll get to that in the second part of this video, but... Listen to some of this. Um, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure the, the redness inside the eye is from we both eye poked each other and his, his thumb went inside my eye. First of all, they did not eye poke each other. They just didn't. Everyone acting like, you know, they both eye poked each other in the second round. and No. A thumb going in your eye from a closed fist is just not an eye poke. And arguably... Shouldn't have been interfered with by the referee. I think maybe the main reason the referee stepped in there was because Weidman poked him in the eye. Because I'm telling you, nearly every time Bruno Silva tried to move forward in the fight, Weidman just did this. Over and over again. Fingers straight out in the eyes of Bruno Silva. Over and over again. Stopping him from being able to move forward effectively. And that's what Bruno Silva does so well. He moves forward, steps through with his combinations, and throws a one, two, three, four, five. That's what Bruno Silva does. That's his move. 
And every time he tried to move forward, Weidman did this with his fingers. I hate the fact that people bring up the, the eye poke from Bruno Silva. He had a closed fist and the thumb hit Chris Weidman in the eye. Fair play, it's not a nice feeling. Fair play, Weidman was affected by it. But this is not the same as Weidman constantly doing that to Bruno Silva. Begging to eye poke him, basically. Insane. Well, there's another part of this as well at 1 minute 48 that we're going to get to. Before we get into the rest of these guys in corporate MMA just rallying to defend Weidman at whatever cost, even if they sound so delusional for doing it. Yeah. C could I ask, because it, it's like this weird sort of juxtaposition here. W, feeling great. But I do see, you know, even in the comments, be sure to press Weidman. Don't shy away from the tough questions. We know he's your boy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's like people are genuinely... Ask seems... me any questions, Ariel. Like, oh, yeah. They, they're they mad. They're mad. So, so let me... He's like belittling us. What do you mean? They're mad. They're mad. Don't be afraid to ask him. Like, I hate how little these guys think. It's actually insane how, how down these guys look upon their audience. It's something that's very different between corporate MMA and the YouTube MMA side of things. YouTube MMA, me and Lucas Tracy, bedtime MMA maybe as well. We're talking to you guys on a daily basis. You're people to us in a way. You know what I mean? But these guys are like, duh, 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 duh. of course we're going to ask you to ask Chris Weidman some tough questions, dude. Sorry. He just eye-poked a guy for a finish. He just eye-poked a guy to finish in a fight. Five, four eye-pokes that the referee even acknowledged. There may have been more. I've rewatched the fight. There was moments in the fight outside of when the referee stepped in and said that was an eye-poke or Bruno Silva complained about it where you're like, damn. Chris Weidman needs to watch his fingers. He kept doing it throughout the entire fight that he wasn't, whenever he wasn't holding on to Bruno Silva against the cage in round one, sorry. So let me ask you, do you feel like that was a legitimate win? Yes, I feel like it's a legitimate win. I was, when I won all three rounds according to the judges' scorecards, is it the way I wanted to win? Hell no. Like, I don't want and there's the eye poke. Why do they have to show it, man? I'm going to get demonetized now. Either way, they show the eye poke. Nasty. You can see that, by the way. You just saw it on screen. The finger is in the eye. Right in the eye. Because I want you to see that. Because something Weidman says later is in absolute ju juxtaposition to this. I don't want to poke a guy in the eyes. I've never poked a guy in, uh, in the eyes ever in any fight. And then in this fight, I guess if you add up, uh, it was two and then... The one two I poked, yeah. I guess, or people people are saying in, as the as the last one. And it's just unfortunate. You know, it's like, you know, I I don't want that to happen. Um it's never happened before. And just I don't know, it was like the style of us fighting. Maybe my fingers were open too much, but it Maybe. They were open nonstop, pointed right in the face of Bruno Silva for the majority of the fight. It's just it's just tough with these gloves on. I mean And and this is something that these guys keep doing. It's tough with these gloves, man. Dude, I'm telling you, there are clean fighters that just never eye-poke someone. It's always like the same fighters that seem to just eye-poke someone. I know Weidman doesn't have a history of it, but I can't help but notice, like, it's it's nearly always, like, the rangier, longer fighter that's just constantly putting their fingers in someone's eyes. Stop putting your fingers in someone's eyes. The only reason you would ever do that is to eye-poke them. I know they wear big gloves in training, and in the big gloves, you open up your hands, and you have more of an open hand whenever you're not punching someone, but... I hate that they just go, these gloves, man. Close your fucking fist. I'm Sorry, we move on to another moment here as well. There's just, there's more annoyance here. He goes on to say something so bad later on here. Three minutes and 16 seconds. Um, that being said, like, I am sorry that happened and it sucks that it ended that way. But That's where it should end. I but, hold on, but he wants to destroy his career and make sure he has no fans. Also, you can make a very strong argument that I got eye poked by far the most devastating eye poke of the of the uh, of all the eye pokes. Mm -hmm. um, no, you no, you couldn't. And why is Ariel like yeah in the background? Devastating eye poke of the of the uh, of all the eye pokes. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. No, you couldn't argue that. You literally put a man down with eye pokes. Two in a row. Bat bat. Two eye pokes in both. You got both eyes. You literally blinded Bruno Silva for a second. And he like came to on the canvas like, Ugh. and then you're finishing him off by TKO. What do you mean you can argue you got the worst of it? 
Sorry, I didn't, I didn't happen to notice you charge in and get both your eyes gouged out and collapse into a heap on the canvas. I didn't happen to notice that, Weidman. Your eye poke that you received came from a closed fist. Bruno Silva did nothing wrong. It happened to get you in the eye with the thumb. All of your eye pokes you landed on him were your fingers darting towards his face any time he came at you. So annoying. I didn't even notice it when I was first watching the fight, but watching it back with this context, it's like, Jesus Christ. It's like his game plan was eye pokes. And drop to the mat and, you know, try to Listen get to this. Uh, of all the eye pokes. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't drop to the mat and, you know, try to get time. And, um, and all, all eye pokes aren't created the same. You know, so I'm not saying I know how exactly how we felt, but if you look at my the first two eye pokes where the ref stopped it. By the way, not knowing exactly how Bruno Silva felt about the eye pokes, he spoke to a doctor. They say he might get his vision back. He's losing about 30% of his vision right now. He might get it back. Just to put that out there. Exactly how he felt, but if you look at my the first two eye pokes where the ref stopped it, <laughs> the, the fact that he's even discussing this with a straight face is insane while acting like he hasn't really done much wrong. If you look at the first two eye pokes I landed, how is this? This feels like a parody. This actually feels like an impression I would do. You know what I mean? Uh, I do that impression of the guy I poke. You know, the first two eye pokes I landed, like, how are we even having this conversation here? I mean, I barely touched his eye. Even on even on the, the last... Barely touched his eye. One, um... Where on, Listen. even on the the last one, um, where like you know he went down, uh, like my finger kind of like went underneath his eye. I you saw the picture earlier. You can go back in the video yourself. I told you to pay attention to that image. The finger went straight in the eye. Even in that last one, you know they weren't even that bad. We we were literally just you know, the eye pokes that I I constantly hit him with they weren't even that bad eye pokes i could have done way worse like he's he's disappointed in his level of eye poke it wasn't if you really zoom in it wasn't like in his eyeball it was like like he did to me in that one with his thumb um so like, yeah how dare he throw a closed fist at you and hit you with the thumb like that's 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 the thing is like i i almost came out like trying to coach him because it's like my kids who, who, you know, I coach in wrestling, you're going to get poked in the eye. There's going to be things that happen to you inside on the mat. You can't just, you know, drop to the ground and turn around and expect the ref to, th you know, to know what's going on in your head and, and that he's seeing everything. I don't think Bruno Silva was like, I've been poked in the eye. I better milk it on the ground. DC says some shit in a second. That is insane. I'll get to it. I'm just, time to drop to the ground. Dude, he was pushing forward, off balance, throwing shots. He's already been eye-poked a few times. Pushing forward in the fight. And you've eye-poked him twice. Blinded him in the middle of his combination coming forwards. And he collapses to the heap in a heap on the ground. He's not like, I've been eye-poked. I better milk this for the referee to notice it. I'll collapse into a heap on the ground. I literally thought it was the left hook that dropped him. It was that natural of a collapse. He got blinded completely with fingers in his eyes, trying to move forward in a fight. What do you mean he shouldn't have collapsed on the heap on the ground? It's just a bad, it's a bad habit and bad things. And, and that he's seeing everything. It's just a bad, it's a bad habit. It's a bad habit that he keeps collapsing on the ground from your fucking eye pokes, is it? How dare Bruno Silva have such a bad habit? What a bad habit from Bruno Silva that every time you tried to gouge his eyes out, he collapsed on a heap on the ground. Which he didn't, by the way. He didn't do it every time. But either way, what a bad habit from Bruno Silva. Not your bad habit of doing this every time he tried to push forward against you. Not that one. That's not a bad habit. Bruno Silva's got a bad habit in the way that he reacts to you gouging out his fucking eyes, does he, Weidman? And bad things happen when you do that. And that's kind of what he, he got in the habit of just anytime his eyeball got touched at all, it's like he dropped to the ball or dropped to the ground and was like, you know, crying and he needed time and all this stuff. And <laughs> what? what am I, I? I wish Weidman was smart enough for this to be a heel turn. It's not. 
Weidman wants to be liked. He's not trying to be a villain. He wants fans. <laughs> but he's so dumb that he's just been so unbelievably... He's got a really bad habit of whenever I gouge his fucking eyes out, he dives on the canvas in a heap. What, what's wrong with this guy? Penalize this guy already. Now listen to this. The ground and was like, you know, crying and he needed time and all this stuff. And obviously I'm not, I don't want to poke him in the eye, but I just also think like, what are we turning this into? Like, like MMA is a tough sport. <laughs> what are we turning this into some kind of sport where i don't get to gouge your fucking eyes out <laughs> what are we turning this into is the most insane sentence i've heard in reaction to that type of thing i mean what are we turning this into some kind of <laughs> some kind of sport where you react badly to getting poked in your fucking eyes over and over again <laughs> What are we turning? This is are we going soft in MMA now? <laughs> Weidman's out for blood. That's how you know they were intentional. What are we turning this into? Some kind of sport where I don't get to eye poke this motherfucker? That was my game plan. You could hear Matt Serra in the corner. Where the fucking go, Weidman? Gouge his fucking eyes out, Chris. He was screaming it over and over again from the corner. Over and over again, he was. Get the get the reps, you know, attention. Let him know you got poked in the eye. The drop it and then try and get all this 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 time and, and and then you go back to the replay and it's like you even really get poked in the eye. Um, he did get poked in the eye. I I can't believe this dude. I I can't believe Whiteman's done this. I just I don't know. I, I think it's a bad precedent too. I think it's a bad precedent to uh you know react badly to being poked in the eye. I'm telling you, it was intentional, dude. I feel like they muted parts of the audio where Sarah was going off giving orders to Weidman. I'm be I bet you they were. You play back that audio through like an encryption device and you'll hear Matt Serra's voice. Gouge his fucking eyes out, Weidman. Gouge him out now. Shove your fucking knuckles in his eyes. You know what I mean? Over and over again, I bet you could hear it. We move on to another moment as if that wasn't enough, this video. This part here. And four times in, in the span of a few minutes, like second round, third round, it's it's not common for you. Yeah, I um, it's unfortunate. I, I think because he's he's mostly southpaw. And I'm, I'm orthodox. I'm longer. A big part of when you have an orthodox fighter fighting a southpaw guy is you're trying to stay. A hey, how about you close your fucking fist and stop darting your fingers in the eyes of Bruno Silva, dude? How about that? Not about you know sometimes orthodox southpaw. You know, like how about you stop fucking gouging his eyes out? <laughs> how about that? How about there's other fighters that can go a whole fight without a single eye poke because they ain't doing this non-stop to their opponent? Always seems to be that there's more eye pokes when one fighter's doing this non-stop to their opponent, doesn't it, Chris? I think sometimes when they do the South Boy Orthodox, yeah. Did you He's fucking mush-brained at this point, honestly. I can't believe this interview from him. Insane. And I can't believe Ariel didn't press him on any of this. Just add out, and I'll go over what Ariel's been doing. 627 here as well. It's obviously completely unintentional, and I, I would never, like, think about cheating. You know, like, I'm, that's just not who I am. I don't think... As far as I'm concerned, him doing that with his fingers over, over and over again is cheating. Like, that's the intent, right? What else is there? Why are you outstretching your fingers in your opponent's face? I know with boxing gloves in, gloves in sparring, they have a habit of having their hands open whenever they're finding range. I get that. But there's no reason to be doing that in an, in an MMA cage unless you kind of want not to eye poke your opponent. But let me know if I'm wrong here. The guys that do that shit, they don't want to eye poke their opponent. They want their opponent to fear an eye poke. That's what they want. That's what John Jones does. He's not forcing an eye poke on his opponent, but he wants the opponent to know that if you close distance, you're getting your eye gouged out. That's what they do. That's why Jones has been so successful at light heavyweight for so long. He constantly did that to opponents. And now Weidman's taken, taken up the same technique. We move on. I remember the, I remember the, so, you, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm pretty remorseful. If I poke someone in the eye and I think it's, you know, bad at all, I'm going to, whether it happens to sparring or whatever, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'll, you bro, take your time, my bet. The first one that I hit him with, and this is the thing also people have to realize, if Bruno Silva in a lot of his fights, he got he does wear down over the fight. Like Nothing my goal was it. to try to like break him and, and exhaust him, create scrambles, create striking, you know, uh, 
um, you know, different di- comb- combinations back and forth just to keep him working because he does wear down. And my goal was to try to like break him down. So when the first one in the second round, uh, I, my thumb like barely touched his eye. I mean, and then he dude barely touched his eye with that eye poke. He took as much time as you know he, he could get, and that that right away I'm like I I'm like come on man I don't feel like that really bothered you like your act and like I don't see him having trouble opening his eye or anything like that. So how dare he not react in a way Weidman would accept after having his eyes poked out by Weidman? It was just hard for me to be like you know to feel bad for that you know obviously anytime your finger touches the eye. He has the right to say it's an eye poke and he gets his five minutes or whatever the, the time is now. But I also think like as fighters, we have to be like, okay, if it's, if it's not bad, it's not bad. Like, like I said, he poked me in the eye. Really, it looked bad, but I was like, you know, you blink a couple, you blink once or twice and boom, you're good. Yeah. But that's not the same for everyone. Is it Chris? You don't just no matter what the extent of the eye poke is blink a couple times and it's a, a okay. Like I, I just know if this happened to Weidman, he'd be crying about it. And that's the annoying part because Sarah Longo and that whole team, they game the fucking system with the knees to a grounded opponent rule. He tried to play the game with Musasi. I mean, this guy was a guy celebrating running around the octagon like he's fucking done something great after Silver snapped his leg in half against him. Like, like I, I just know on the other, if the shoe was on the other foot, you know Longo would be crying about this shit, that fat fucking woman. You know what I mean? You know he'd be crying about this shit. He would be. He'd be crying about eye pokes. Um, I've been poked in the eye and sparring uh, bad. We're like knuckles deep. That's completely different. You know, none of none of these shots were that bad. If we're going, yeah, they were. Like what? Which one penetrated the most? His thumb into my eyeball was definitely the worst as far as penetration goes. Yeah. Yeah, Bruno's one was the worst one in that fight, dude. His closed fist where the thumb hit you in the eye. Insane. Absolutely insane. And the annoying part is, Weidman could have literally been like, I'll run it back if they want. Like, I don't mind. You know, I know I did it. I did wrong. I did Bruno Silva wrong. I'm sorry about the eye pokes. If he wants to run it back, I'm ready whenever. Knowing the UFC is never going to fucking do that, by the way. He could have just said that and then knows the UFC is not ever going to do it. And at least he comes off good. He's being a cunt in every way possible here. And Ariel's just letting him. Like he was in the past. I don't know. I... I'm not saying he was looking for a way out, but I just think he got in the habit of anytime his eyeball gets touched, he's dropping and trying to make the most of it, you know? <laughs> what am I listening? Dude, Weidman, shut the fuck up, you idiot meathead, dude. Shut up, dude. This might be the most covert ops heel turn we've ever seen in MMA history, but this is just insane to listen to, dude. He just got into a habit of anytime his eyeball got poked. <laughs> Whether it's more time or trying to get points deducted, um, which none of that happened. You were allowed to do it nonstop throughout the fight with no point deduction whatsoever. No favoritism, though. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know if he's looking for a way. I don't. I don't know. I, you know. I hate to say he's looking for a way out. I just think uh, it was a bad habit for him to just drop to his. You know. That's why I ended up becoming a TKO. Right. I am happy that it isn't a TKO. It's not a habit for him, though. Like it's not like Bruno Silva. Oh, there's Bruno Silva again collapsing on a heap on the ground after an eye poke. Like, you poked his eyes, double whammy, as he came in. He collapsed, and you're like, dude, what a bad habit he has. I don't understand why Weidman has done it. He is the stupidest person ever if he thinks that in any way this is like a good response from him. So unbelievably dumb. We move on to another moment here. Are you annoyed that it, that that this is a cloud hanging over it, that some people aren't giving you your props that you're not able to fully celebrate and talk like, you know, we could talk about the win and it'd be great. Like, does any of this annoy you? Oh, uh, Paul. Of it's always, it's definitely annoying. And, you know, uh, it Aww. ends up, it's not the cleanest win, you know? So I'll, I'll give him that. Yeah. Not the cleanest dude. Yeah. It could have been cleaner that win where you fucking gouged both of his eyes out as he ran towards you trying to land on you. But I've had some very, yeah, really, really unfortunate for him, dude. Yeah. I know I'm not, I didn't try to poke him in the eye. I know it sucks that I did. Um, now what else you want me to do? It's a fight though. Mm. I think crap happens, you know? And uh, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing going on in Weidman's head. I'm convinced. There's nothing going on in his head. 
Unless he wants to be hated, there's nothing going on in this guy's head anymore. And he should call it quits. This is a sign. There's nothing going on in this guy's head. This is insane. Insane to hear. <laughs> I don't get it, dude. But would you be... Sorry, I poked him in the eye, but look, look at the, uh, you know, the entire fight. Right. We, we, so that being said, would you be open to a rematch? And, and, when they say, and then, uh, and then, uh, and then, honestly, like, look at the, uh, look at the eye pokes and be honest with yourself. Like, they, they weren't the worst eye pokes in the world, and that, I am sorry for them. They're pretty bad, though. You know, but I had probably the worst eye poke happen to me, mm. uh, and it is just kind of is what it is, man. It sucks. Like, this is the problem, I guess, with the, the, the you know, with the gloves on, with your fingers being there like that. It's crap. You did that to Bruno. Bruno Silva weren't doing that to you, man. You were doing it to him. He's making a conscious decision to try not to poke you in the eye. Have the same fucking courtesy, man. And I hate that they talk about, well, the rest of the fight. The rest of the fight was tainted by eye pokes. Round two, Silva was affected by eye pokes that were illegal and intentional. Far as I'm concerned, if an eye poke happens when your fingers are like this, it's fucking intentional and should be considered it. Insane interview. Here's the rallying around Chris Weidman. In this moment on TNT Sports, first of all, they don't show the first two eye pokes. Second of all, they mute audio during the celebration of Chris Weidman, where the commentary, during the replay, where the commentary is even talking about the eye pokes. They muted all of it, took the audio out of them talking about eye pokes, and removed the first two eye pokes that landed, taking away all context of their highlight video of Chris Weidman getting his big win. Weidman's not even a fucking star. Like, who gives a shit about Weidman, really, thinking about it? Listen to this shit on Ariel's show as well. I don't know. Uh, Chris Weidman uh, defeated uh, Bruno Silva, but it was, uh, it was a little bit controversy co controversial, excuse me, to say the least. Oh, it was a little bit controversial, was it? It was a little bit controversial, to say the least. It's the most controversial thing that's happened recently in MMA history. Like, he, got, he literally eye-poke comboed him, his way to a win. Go to this part. Um, I think that oh, even though it looked... This is Ariel's uh, co-host. Absolutely ridiculous. I think what ultimately played out is technically the correct call. Um, the, the only... T in the position that the, that the referee and, and the... No! No, it's not ultimately the correct call. If you've eye-poked someone like Weidman did, first of all, the point should have been taken away in round two. The second he landed two eye-pokes on Silver and kept doing this and got warned for doing that, the point should have been deducted. After that point was deducted, his finish should have been a DQ or a no contest at least. And I'm a big fan of no contest because I think if a guy's ahead, no contest it and he, and he commits the foul. If he's behind and he commits the foul, it's a DQ. That way they can't game it and if he's losing, get a no contest or if he's winning, get a DQ, you know? And the commission is in. There's only two outcomes, right? If they think that the eye poke was intentional, then disqualification, Chris Weidman loses, Bruno Silva wins. If they think it's accidental, you could have a point removed. Um because this is not the first, right? He's not being responsible with his weapons. Um, or you can ultimately, the fight is over because of the, the, the referee was not able to step in and stop the- There's all these lame semantics that go on. What am I even using this clip for? Or now it's a TKO, because that was not a TKO, right? But <clears throat> upon review, the fight was stopped at that point. You score the fight to that point, and Chris Weidman wins a decision. And ultimately, Chris Weidman had already won the first two rounds, so ultimately, regardless of what happens in the rest of the third, short of Bruno Silva recovering and knocking out Chris Weidman... Weidman had already won the first two rounds. Round two, with eye pokes included in that, in that equation. Like, that needs to be in, included there. He won the second round, likely because of eye pokes, and the main thing that happened in round three was the knockdown, and it happened through eye pokes. I don't know why people keep mentioning the rest of the fight, the rest of the fight. Weidman held him against the cage in round one, had success early, and in round two, had success, but I poked him twice and should have had a point taken away. Chris Weidman wins that fight. So it's not a great circumstance. The scenario kind of stinks, but ultimately, I guess what is what what happened is is the correct outcome. Unless you are somebody, and I'm certain there are people out there, including Bruno Silva, who would say Chris Weidman should have been disqualified. I would understand that position. I don't 
think that's the right outcome, but I do understand. See, this is the lame stuff where people like, there's a difference between MMA YouTube and these corporate lames, dude. They ain't just say it how it is. There's an argument for this, and I could definitely see that point of view. What do you mean there's an argument for this? Dude, Weidman fucking gouges his eyes out four or five times in the fight. He finished him with eye pokes. DQ his bitch ass, or no contest it, and run that shit back. What do you mean there's, there's definitely an argument for this? Like, this is these lame fucking fence sitters of analysts that are so fucking annoying to me that they just never even have a fucking point. What's the point of you speaking? Genuinely, you don't have a take. You don't have a take. You just have everyone else's takes combating against each other within your own fucking sentence. What's the point of you? 9.55. And he was fighting a great fight, all things fuck, considered, fuck right? right? So that's the shame. The shame is, to me, Chris Weidman isn't a dirty fighter. Chris Weidman isn't someone with a... The shame is, to me, that's the shame. Listen. History of doing this. You know, it was what it was, and ultimately the ref made the call and the officials made the call. But I, I kind of am bummed by the fact that the story of the first two rounds has now been completely overshadowed by like, ah, oh, fuck Chris Weidman or fuck. The fuck Chris Weidman, dude. Fuck him. What are we talking about, man? It's kind of a shame that now the, the fight's been over. You know, there's been some cloud, you know, it's been over clouded by these eye pokes. Round two, there was eye pokes. Why are we forgetting about round two, man? Weidman nonstop was doing this the whole fucking fight long. That includes round one and two. That's illegal to do in MMA. You know what I mean? Like, yes, what do you, I do know what you in, mean. In the moment, Chris Weidman is celebrating because he thinks the monkey is off my back. He right, thinks he hadn't won in I, almost four yes, years. He's freaking high fiving Hunter Campbell. He's like, fuck yeah, I am back. You know, how yes. good must that have felt? You can't take that away from him. You can't. Yes, you can. I don't give a fuck if it's Chris Weidman. You absolutely can take that away from him and make it a no contest. He's not exempt because he shattered his leg. You absolutely can take it away from him. This is the fucking problem, and it's the reason why they probably let Weidman get away with it in the fucking first place. You can't take away his moment. It's Weidman. If any other fighter would have done that, dude, the MMA community would not be having this response and the, the MMA corporate side would not be having this response, sorry. Imagine if Covington had done that to an opponent, like Woodley or Masvidal. You never fucking hear the end of it. He eye poked Masvidal once in their fight, by the way. But imagine if he'd finished Masvidal with eye pokes. You can't take that away from Covington. So you're bringing outside bias into this, which it shouldn't be. Can't take that. Now, ultimately, you have referees there, and, and, it, and I feel for Bruno Silva, and it's very clear with the replay what happened. I am not denying that. But I hate the fact that people are like, look how happy this cheater is. Or look at him celebrate. Like, no, you mm. really think Chris Wyman did that on purpose? Fuck, man. How many times have we seen eye pokes? We've seen eye pokes. It's, it, it is what it is. It's yeah. a shitty situation. You really think Wyman did that on purpose? Eh, it sure looked like it when he did that nonstop for fucking 12 minutes of the fight. That he wasn't, well, seven minutes of the fight where he wasn't holding onto silver against the cage, stalling in round one. Sure looked like he kind of meant to do it. What else does that achieve, Ariel? You ask, you tell me, Ariel, what does this shit fucking achieve, Ariel? Because it don't fucking achieve anything but eye pokes, as far as I've seen in MMA history. Close your fucking fist and start darting your fingers towards your opponent's eyes. Silver weren't doing it to him. Weidman was doing it to Silver. Sorry. Anyway, we go to another moment here. There's more. I don't think this might be my longest video ever. 12 minutes, 15 seconds. I'll keep going. I mean, it's, you know... It's very clear, Chris Chris Weidman was not trying to cheat, to Connor's point. He was winning the fight. Like, he was winning this fight. Via the use of this! I can't talk to these NPC bots anymore, man. There's, there's not an incentive for him to do that. Yes, there is an incentive. Silver can't push forward if he's worried about this in his eyes nonstop. There is an argument, though. The, the one thing I would say is... This, this wasn't the first eye poke of the fight, right? There's an argument oh, to well, say, like, Bruno Silva didn't get a fair crack because of it, it hampering him. And so to that, I say, run it back. Let's see it. Chris Wyman was winning that. I don't mind. Run it back. I don't want to see it ran back. I just don't want it to be a loss on Bruno Silva's career. He got blinded over and over again. When he wasn't blinded, he was under threat of being blinded because Weidman did this shit nonstop. Believe You Me podcast here as well. Play. But the eye pokes. Yeah. There was a lot of eye pokes. 
Yeah, but, and, and I don't think anyone I don't think anyone out there is saying that Chris Weidman was doing it on purpose. I don't I don't I, I don't believe that for a second. But nope. It, you, nope. No way he was doing it on purpose when he constantly did that nonstop. Got to feel for for Bruno Silva a little bit, you know. It, and he was losing the fight. He was down two rounds. But the way that Bruno fought, a little bit, you got to feel bad for Bruno Silva a little bit. You got to feel a little bit bad for him having his career kind of destroyed by eye pokes. He could get cut from the UFC for this, by the way. He's on a bit of a loss spree at the moment. Fights, you know, Chris doesn't back up a whole lot. So that Bruno fighting and blitzes and forward pressure and, and oh, just no, we just saw that was a one two eye pokes. <laughs> yeah. it, it was a Listen. one two. A blatant one-two eye poke that I can't show because I'll get demonetized or copyright struck. Chris is a friend of mine. That's hard to defend, but... <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not talking shit. That's hard to oh, defend, but laugh, laugh, laugh. But to laugh, anyone laugh, listening, Bruno they're going to be like, well, how's he gonna, how's he going to spin this one? That's It's tough. I can't. I can't. It, it was, was a one-two eye poke. Pam, pam. Right oh, in the eyeball. Dear. But, but he was winning the rest of the fight before that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think Hamilton said Hamilton. I mean, a broken record here, but he was winning it because Bruno couldn't move forward without fear of losing his eyes. Was the four eye? But I'm not talking shit. Well done to Chris Weidman. Got a good win. He was winning the fight. He. Looked... This is the annoying bit. Just talk shit, man. Tell Weidman how it fucking is, man. Where's the where's the fucking camaraderie with Bruno Silva, dude? I don't care if you're friends with Weidman, man. Call it like it fucking is, man. And I don't want to talk shit, you know, respect to Weidman and that, but you did kind of eye poke him five fucking times and tried to nonstop throughout the fight whenever you were at range on the feet. I hate this, and I don't want to insult Weidman in any way. Like, no, man, back, like, man the fuck up, man. Looks good. Um, obviously, it was a finish, but it was a one-two eye poke, so they kind of overturned it. because it... They kind of overturned it? 501, move on. Weidman clearly mm -hmm. won the fight. Do you know who I feel for? Bruno Silva. Who? Well, not Blindado, who was blinded. That's his nickname, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Anyone that bet money on Chris Weidman to win by knockout. It... <laughs> Those gamblers, yeah. I was later to the like, nope. Man, I think I've said this on here before, but I'll say it again. I've trained with Chris and a lot. And still to this day, skill for skill, he's the best fighter. I've ever trained and with. they go on to just glaze Weidman Smith glazes Weidman for a long time in his interview and it's just like where's the condemnation of this behavior dude you know I'm saying this I find it just this is him talking about John Jones eye poking just it goes against everything I think that a fighter is for somebody to purposely poke somebody in the eye I mean mm -hmm. I just cannot imagine having that thought process and going right do you know what I'm going to do rather than land a really good potentially knockout blow I'm going to poke them in the eye. Like Chris was throwing a one-two. For whatever reasons, the fingers were out. They were out. Because they weren't intended to be a one-two. Not a lot. They shouldn't have been, but it wasn't on purpose. There was no way. It was on... Uh, dude, in that fight, and I don't normally say this about outstretched fingers, what Weidman was doing to Bruno Silva was absolutely on purpose. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. Was it on purpose... Was he aiming for the eyeballs of Bruno Silva? No, but what fighters do when they do that shit over and over again while people are trying to move forward? They're not tr aiming for the eyeballs. They're not saying, this is an eye poke, here it comes. They're saying, they're, they're putting it out there that the fighter in front of them cannot move forward without risking an eye poke. It's not about, well, he did, he did that, but he wasn't aiming for his eyeballs. No, he was putting out a field of danger that Bruno Silva could not move past because of outstretched fingers that could have hit his eye, where he normally could have moved past that range if they were closed fists. That was a conscious decision where I'm going to go, uh-uh, rather than bang, bang, and knock you out. You know what I'm saying? Well, lame as fuck, dude. Eight minutes, 52 of john and his hands are out and they're got his fingers in your face it's a problem because you know you're gonna run into one and so you're like trying to move your head outside of it like i don't think it's on purpose it's just it's just how he defends forward pressure because fighters and it works the reason why it works is because eye pokes are a threat to his opponent it's absolutely intentional well for chris saturday night the fingers wear out a lot right mm -hmm. And again, I'm not talking shit because you're you're in the. Why are you scared to like call it how it is here? 
I'm in the middle of the fight. And if that's how you're used to operating in sparring or whatever, that's how you're going to be. The rule is it can't be like that. It's got to be like that. I find that to be an absolutely ridiculous rule, if I'm honest. They've got to change that. How stupid. So the thing it can be like that. Can't have it like that for obvious reasons, but it can. I get what Bisping's trying to say here, but he's just arguing a semantic that is just like avoiding the topic of calling out Weidman for being a fucking dirty fighter against Bruno Silva, dude. Weidman fought against Bruno Silva and was a dirty fucking fighter. It's not difficult to say that out loud. He fought a dirty fight against Bruno Silva. That's what he did. And it's not like I don't want to I don't want to be mean to him or anything. No. He fought a dirty fight, man. In the working on it, but that was a shame. Anyway, uh, stick on the positives. Good performance yeah. for Chris Wyman. He got back in the wing column. Um, Moving on. Huh? There was a possibility that he was going to retire Saturday night. I would have said that was the right decision. He's still performing in the gym. He looked he can climb that ladder at middle. Here we go. Um, what do you think is next for Wyman? Do you think he can climb that ladder at middleweight and like I guess the top, top guys? Well, skill for, like I said, skill for skill. I don't have any doubt that he can compete with the top guys in the world. The problem with Weidman is it, it, it's the same problem you had, I'm sure, at one point. It's the same problem I have. It's just staying healthy long enough. To, to Retarded. Smith putting Weidman on paper literally is what you're hearing right now. To put a run to together. It, put a run together. Jesus Christ, dude. The bias is unimaginable. So I think that's the question. Skill for skill. I think he can compete with everybody in that division at the up to the very top. But yep. it's just, can he stay healthy enough to put a run together? Well, I would like to see him get a high-profile matchup next because, you know, Me given too. the pedigree, given the history, given... A high-profile... What are we rewarding here? I don't understand. I really... They have made a collective effort on every corporate media site. And DC did the same thing. Basically, everyone employed by the UFC or everyone who has a bias like Ariel and is a corporate piece of MMA media is just either sitting on the fence like Ariel and his team or afraid to call it how the fuck it is, man. And, and, the, and the people that are paid by the UFC here that work for ESPN like Smith, Bisping, and DC, they just outright glaze Weidman. What do you mean he deserves a high-profile matchup next? based on the history and the credential. Only history I care about right now to determine whether or not Weidman deserves a treat or not is the history of him trying to eye poke Bruno Silva for the entirety of the fight while it was at range. He doesn't deserve a high-profile matchup. And what he's done for the sport, uh, he certainly deserves it. So I'm just looking... Does he? Well, with injuries too. Even, even if you think about, as you're looking at the rankings, even if you think about just his injuries and him trying to stay healthy, even slow rolling him through the bottom of the rankings is dangerous because that's just more opportunities to get hurt. That's more training camps. If you can get him a big name halfway up, you know, maybe Give fast Sean Strickland. Fuck it. <laughs> Sean Strickland, I, I Chris Wyman, the all American against here's the thing guys, American, right? Do it. That's I probably that's a really a good, good fight. <laughs> that's a good fight. That's a good. So, so let me get this straight. People that are paid by the UFC. So not only is Weidman not to be condemned for his dirty, filthy performance against Bruno Silva, but let me get this fucking straight. He deserves Sean Strickland, a man who arguably could be getting it and should be getting a title shot right now. A rematch for the belt. He deserves a top contender matchup after that. Not only will he not be condemned by you guys, and you won't say it was a dirty fight and he's a dirty fighter on that night, he deserves Sean Strickland after that. Dude, I don't understand what they see in Weidman. I do not see him as a star. I really don't think many people give a fuck about him. I actually think there was more hype behind Roman Kopilov before he lost to Anthony Hernandez amongst MMA fans than there is for Weidman as a name in MMA. Like, I don't understand what they're doing here. Good a really good fight, yeah. I, like I, it. I didn't I like think it, about though. that. Chris Wyman, Sean Strickland, I'm a, let's I'm go. Text him. I'm going to text him out right now. Oh, that's amazing, dude. I'll text him that one. Awful. He does not deserve Sean Strickland in any way whatsoever. 13 minutes and 51 seconds. So that was Chris Wyman. Well done to him. Mm -hmm. You know, talking of weird finishes. Just moving on. Well done to him. That was Chris Weidman. Well done to him, you know. He's going to go box. Um, anyway, um, so that was Chris Wyman. Well done to him. Well done for those eye pokes, mate. Really good job. We move on to this shit from DC. I'm just going to let it play.
We have it. This might be the longest video I've ever done. I wanted to put it all together though. I don't think he ever. I don't think he's looked that good in a long time. He looked great last weekend. He was winning the fight, and it was very clear that he was winning. Let me put this in the center of the screen while they play all this. I'm not paid by ESPN. <clears throat> What's up, guys? What's up, Reverend? Sorry. In the fight. But then the eye pokes. Confusion. Chris Weidman. No confusion. He eye poked the shit out of him. Knocks Bruno Silva out. No, he doesn't. He eye pokes him. The Atlantic City crowd go crazy. He jumps over the octagon. They announce it as a TKO. Two minutes later, they say they scored the fight. And it was a unanimous decision for Chris Weidman. He pokes him in the eye. The overwhelming sentiment from the world is that Chris Weidman got away with one. Absolutely. What did you think watching that last weekend, watching Chris beat Bruno Silva? He won the fight. He was going to win the fight regardless. Was he? He's going to win the fight regardless of all of the eye pokes. Was he? How the fuck can you say that shit, DC, after what you have experienced from John Jones and even your own, you were crying about that Stipe eye poke for months after that fucking fight. About how it changed the entire the entire direction of the fight. What do you mean? He would have won regardless without the eye pokes. Shut up. But I mean, four or five eye pokes, uh, it was odd, is all I can say. Odd! Yeah, DC, it was odd. Yeah, it was kind of odd, wasn't it? How Weidman constantly eye poked Bruno Silva and darted his eyes in his face any time he tried to close distance. We move on. Chael waffles about nothing. I listened through it. There's nothing to get out of it. I love you, Chael, but you don't say sentences of any value. Sorry. I think by them making it a decision, it saves the fight staying a win for Chris Weidman because he really did deserve to get a victory in that fight because he fought so well. Oh, he Thank God it saved the decision for Chris Weidman because he really deserved it. I, I, I can't. Believe the words that are coming out of some of these guys. This, this is paid for language. Simple as that. It's paid for language. We're about to hear the most stupid shit, and I've saved it till the end of the fucking video, like an idiot that I am. He made one point that I think is very important, Chael. He said, I get it, but Bruno Silva has to understand you can't fall to the ground and turn away from the fight because me as the fighter, I am going to jump on you and finish the fight. Chris Weidman did what his instincts told him, and that was to go finish Bruno Silva when Bruno reacted in the way that he did from the eye poke. I, I, I'm only saying this, Chael, because to me, it, it felt like a soccer player. When they get fouled and they're rolling around on the ground when the guy barely touches them. Look, Bruno Silva got eye He's comparing Bruno Silva to a soccer player overreacting to a foul. Bruno Silva... <laughs> uh, I'm almost done with... The, I'm almost done. I don't know. I, I Thank God this is at the end of the video because I couldn't have continued with the rest of the video if this was at the start. This is paid for language by DC. This is why these corporate MMA shows are bullshit to listen to and useless to listen to in general. What the fuck are you talking about, you fat fuck? Shut up. Bruno Silva like a soccer player on the ground. He didn't even get a chance to flop around on the ground because Weidman pounced on him for a finish. He started a combination moving forward and within the space of half a second, he had been eye-poked badly in both of his eyes. Of course he's going to collapse to the fucking canvas and not just be A-OK -okay with it. Like, it feels like the entire thing, we're like... We're, it's like Bruno Silva should apologize for the way he reacted to Chris Weidman's eye-pokes, but there ain't a single condemnation of Weidman's fucking eye-pokes. I'm sick of it. But I think he understood where he was in the fight. He was getting beat, he was losing... He fell to the ground. He reacted the way he was reacting, hoping, wait, wait, stop, 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 poke in the eye, fight, no contest. Instead, Weidman went and finished it. That's my thought. Sure. That's DC's thought.
So he thinks Bruno Silva was just trying to find a way out of that fight after getting four or five eye pokes. I don't know what to do anymore. Dude. It's a 50 minute video. I've put it all together for you guys. This is the most retarded shit in recent UFC history. All of these guys, DC, these guys paid for language. Useless to listen to their fucking words. Everything that fucking comes out of their mouth on important topics to do with the UFC is bought and fucking paid for. Why the fuck is anyone listening to these guys? Honestly, why the fuck is anyone listening to them? Bought and fucking paid for language. If you want the realness on any topic, you don't go here or here or fucking here. Who the fuck is this? Oh yeah, the guy on fucking Ariel show. Either way, you don't go anywhere here. You want the realness on topics? You go to MMA YouTube, dude. And that's what I want to sum this up with, man. This is why MMA YouTube will engulf corporate MMA because we say it how it fucking is, dude. Weidman was a dirty ass fighter. He was outstretching his fingers towards the eyes of Bruno Silva in nearly every stand-up exchange in that fight. Even if he didn't want to eye poke Bruno Silva, he wanted Bruno Silva to fear the idea of an eye poke at least. That shit's bullshit. The fight should be a no contest at least. And Bruno Silva should be fucking compensated. This is fucking bullshit. And Weidman is being shilled for by every single piece of corporate MMA media. And it pisses me the fuck off because I don't even give a fuck about Weidman. Seriously, man. Jesus Christ. I would not blink a fucking eye if the middleweight division moving forward did not have Weidman in it. Give me Anthony Hernandez instead. Give me Anthony Hernandez instead coming up. I don't give a fuck about Weidman, dude. See you later. Goodbye.